Hi, Dawn Lewis here, and today I have a lawn fawn project for you. Yeah, there's a kitty on there. I'm using some of the stamps from the last release, including Meow You Doing, How You Been, and the gorgeous Just For You. It's a little older, but I use it all the time. If you are looking for lawn fawn in Australia, you can find it at dawnlewis.com.au, and I have Afterpay in my gorgeous new stamp club, so ask about that. What I'm doing now is stamping double stamping with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm Copic colouring today and I like to double stamp because it's darker. And if you're wondering, why is she putting a ball of yarn in that jar? Well, I say, why not? Why can't I have a jar full of balls of yarn? What I decided to do was fill this with yarn rather than put the cat in there. I thought that, I don't know, I know it's not a real cat, it just felt mean. So I created four post-it note masks of the yarn ball and I'm double stamping, masking, double stamping, masking. So I'm moving it all over the place so that I can fill that jar with balls of yarn. I just, I don't know, I think a cat would really like, I like button jars, but I think a cat would like a jar full of balls of yarn. It'd have to be a big jar or really small balls of yarn. I also decided to stamp my greeting on the blending card stamped it in Memento, realised I needed it in Archival Jet Black because I'm not colouring that with Copics. And speaking of Copics, all the colours are listed up in the top right hand corner. I know it's moving pretty fast but you can pause that and jot those down or you can find them over on my blog with a full list of materials that I use to make this card with links to where you can find them all. What I did do for this project, which I'm kind of leaning towards now, is choosing my pattern paper before I start so that I'm not colouring and then trying to find something that matches my colouring. It's easier to match the colouring to the paper and in this case I'm using the new rainbow plaid. Oh my goodness it's so bright and gorgeous and fun and all of these balls of yarn match up to the colours in the rainbow plaid. My goal was not to have any colours matching and I did end up with two blue ones next to each other but hey that's that's how the cookie crumbles. I have coloured the top with cool greys to make it look like the jar lid and to get our jar looking like glass I've added some very pale blues around the edges and around the yarn and I'm also using a white gel pen to put some reflection onto that glass. Those lines are curved around the top and the bottom to really make it look like a jar and I think it adds a lot to it. I decided on a ginger kitty because we've made friends with a ginger kitty um, in the house next door to my daughter's best friend. She comes out to see us, she kind of knows my car and when that car pulls out someone will pet her. So that's um, that's why I've done a ginger kitty because we've been petting a really cute ginger kitty. Quality control kitty is a little jealous but you know what, she'll, she'll live. Um, fussy cutting, oh I wish it were that fast. I did cut off the tail that I stamped on the yarn ball because I am going to pop that up on some foam tape later and it was going to be impossible to cut that tail out. I just decided that's not happening today. I've also gone around the edge with my black marker. That's a 100. And I'm trimming out my greeting. I just decided to put them all onto the white blending card so that all the whites match throughout the entire front of the card. And as usual, I'm popping that into black and trimming down a little mat. Now let's put it all together. I have put adhesive onto the front of my mini card base and I'm popping it onto the pattern paper. I've tried it the other round, way around, but it is much more effective and efficient to put the card onto the paper instead of the paper onto the card. You can just see what you're doing. There's more control, especially with the big 12 by 12 sheet. I'm trimming around it with my craft knife. You can use scissors, sometimes I do. And I did think it needed a border, so I'm using Wilted Violet Distress Ink just to create a bit of a visual border around the whole card. It's very busy on a very small card. Uh, good thing I checked to see if it was the right way up and you should do that too uh, because it was upside down and um, I would have put everything on upside down. So now it's just time to pretty much add everything on. I'm on a real three millimeter double-sided tape kick at the moment. I'm using it on everything. I do stock it. It's like two dollars a roll so you can find that at dawnlewis.com.au as well here in Australia. And the kitty is up on foam tape. So is the purple ball of yarn. I've got her holding that. I did do two more balls of yarn, a pink and a green, so that I could add them to the bottom of the card. And look, that's it. We're done. Now, well, 
except for the back. I, I'm into putting things on the back because it was made with love. And this is from the Just For You set and I stamped it in purple to match the purple around the edge. So there we go. We have this gorgeous kitty card. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little project. And remember, if you are looking for Lawn Fawn in Australia, you can find it at dawnlewis.com.au. All the details are linked below and you can find them on my blog. Thank you for subscribing. And if you don't subscribe, why not? You get to see all the new videos first. I do hope you have a very crafty day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.